What's going on everybody? This is Scott, also known as Cha-Ching King, and the number one request I have had since I started YouTube is to help with shipping. I've got several things I need to ship out today. Stick around, there's a lot of information here, it's just like so many things in life. It's not intimidating once you know what to do. Let's see if I can help with that. This page is called the Seller Hub, and here on the left hand side it'll say print labels and ship. So when you click on that, that'll bring up the next screen. I have pulled most of the things. I haven't pulled the redhead one here that's at the top that just sold this morning. So what I do, I've got about a dozen things here that I need to ship. And what I do in order to get things out of my way, I will start with some of the easiest things like this one right here, this majestic Chicago Cubs. I'm gonna click where it says purchase shipping label. And that will bring up this screen right here. And I've entered most of this information, but we will double check all of it with you watching. So I keep most of my shipping supplies right here. I've got a few that are underneath my feet, but I'm gonna grab one of my poly bags that I use for shipping almost everything that's lightweight like this. I'm going to put in the description the links for all of the important stuff that I use. The scale I use is awesome. I thought it was $25. I think it's more like 19. It's from Amazon. It's it's terrific. These poly bags are, are terrific and you can ship most things with them. One of the things that I had to overcome when I first started shipping is I thought everything had to be perfectly flat like an envelope. That is not the case. It just needs to be sealed up and ready to go. This is the way that Melody and I store things after we photograph. If you go back and look at my video about listing your very first item, that's how we store things. I don't know that you can see it here, but to my left, I've got a towel bar that I mounted that I have my thank you stickers on it. And so I've got some dark ones, I've got some light ones. If it's a darker item, I grab one of my light stickers, throw that on there, and this is going to go into this bag just like so. It's a lot easier if I'm not having to talk to somebody. Just like that. My scale is just here to the left. And so I will put this on the scale to double check it. And this weighs 8.4 ounces. Anything that is over eight ounces will, and up to 12 ounces, kind of goes for the same rate. There's not a price difference between eight and 12. So I have 12 ounces entered onto the computer. The bag is 12 by nine. I put three in case it gets bent or something like that. But this one is pretty much ready to ship out. So let's print that label. So I've double checked right here. It's 12 ounces, 12 by nine by three. That is first class. I don't need signature delivery. I don't put the postage value on the label. If you look on the right-hand side and click where it says show more, that will show you how much I charged for shipping. And on this item, I charge $5.99. My print format is four by six. Now you don't have to, I have a label printer and you don't have to have one, but a label printer makes your life better. I love this Rolo um, wireless that I got. They don't sponsor me but it's one of the items that I would 100% do a sponsorship and I, I love it. You can use a regular printer and cut your label out. $5.99, don't forget when you're building your pricing in that you have to pay for this bag. You have to pay for printing the label and it's much more expensive if you're using an inkjet or something like that. The other thing to remember is the sales percentage isn't just the cost of the item. They charge you the sales percentage on the shipping too. All right, so let's print this label. Everything is the way that I like it. Right down here on the bottom right hand side, print shipping label. I'm going to print that. And once this screen has loaded on my computer, I make sure that I've got the correct printer. Where it says Rolo right here, I have a, an inkjet that I could easily print to as well. If for some reason the Rolo wasn't available, obviously it is and that's the one I wanna use. I print the label and if you're using a label printer, this is the benefit of that, is you literally peel that out, you stick that down, that package is 100% ready for the post office. All the post office has to do is scan this. If you ship 20, 30 packages a day, you can print a scan label for your post office where they scan that one barcode and it scans all your items in. 
I, I live in a little bitty town. I'm not shipping that many packages even today after the weekend. I, I only have 12 things to ship. My post office is awesome and they don't mind. And so that one's ready to go. And I do the same thing for each of the first class packages. I like to print those, get those out of my way. So that's going to come in right at about 10 ounces. So I on once I've printed my first label, I'm going to go back to orders. I don't go to ship the next item because I want to pick which one I do next. And I'm going to run down here to these and purchase shipping label. And 12 ounces. Remember, everything between 8 and 12 is going to ship for about the same price. 12 by 9 by 3, first class package and $5.99, purchase my shipping label. And if I'm not talking people through this, it's actually very, very quick. Print that. Another nice thing about the thermal printers is that the label is waterproof. And I know that it used to be the old thermal papers would blacken very quickly but these have these last a long time. Let's do something a little bit larger. We still use the Ziploc bags and this is a 12 by 15 bag. With one like this, I use this for the larger jackets. All of the priority boxes and the envelopes are free on USPS.com. I do have a video about shipping is confusing and I show you how to set up your own account on there to be able to do this. And, and that may not seem like a big deal, but I've saved a dollar on the box already. One of the things I want to do is I want to weigh it. So this is going to come in at four pounds with a box. Let's go look at the next rate up from there. And uh, some of it will depend upon where it's going. And this one is going to Florida, of course. It's going to go about as far away as possible. I've got five pounds in here, and you can see at five pounds, it's going to cost me $16.52, and I charge $14.99. And so for us, a lot of times, it just comes down to speed of shipping. And I am perfectly comfortable with paying a dollar or two extra. And you can't see it, but right here below me, I have my, um, my 12 by 12 by 8. So with that, I need to make me a box. By the way, Vintage Carhartt, always a pretty good sale. That jacket sold for uh, $80. Now, I know that there are people that ship faster, but our whole business isn't built around speed. It's built around making it work for us. When you do your business, you make sure it works for you. You're, you're not under somebody else's timeline. So now I've got a 12 by 12 by eight box. Let's, I'm gonna weigh this one again. And it comes in at three pounds, 14 ounces. If you look at my screen, I originally guessed five pounds. So let's put in four pounds, 12 by 12 by eight. And the price comes in at $15.08. I charge $14.99. And the jacket is now ready to go. I, I do have one item today that I know I'm going to lose money on shipping on. All right, so I'm going to go down to this wall, um, purchase shipping label, and I'll show you how much I, I, I charged for it. Over here, you'll see that I charged $8.99 because for the most part, if it's going to ship in the United States, this is going to weigh about three pounds. I'm going to be pretty close. However, this person was in Hawaii. <laughs> um, they, it was a good offer. 
they offered $37 for it. And um, so I just made a conscious decision knowing that most likely I'm going to eat it on this one. And if you look down here on the bottom right hand side on my screen, this was $17.21 to ship. Now I charge nine, which means I'm going to lose money on shipping. But overall, I have virtually nothing in this. And so I'm going to come out just fine. But you have to be aware of those things when you ship. So my hope is that it will fit in the Regional A box that I made earlier. And I believe that it will. So let's fold that up and make sure that that goes in there nice and snug. And that actually fits pretty well. So let's see what regional rate A cost to ship that to Hawaii. And you'll notice that it comes in at 13, 14. So I charge nine, that's $4 extra. It would be the same as if I had accepted a $33 offer on the, the clippers. And I think that's just fine. I mean, obviously I do because I took it. I'm gonna print that shipping label. So I put that down and that one is ready to go. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's ship these fire tablets. I know that these are not going to go first class. Um, the person bought two of them. They're going to be three pounds. And so I want to ship those. Um, I've got four pounds. If you look on here, I've got four pounds on the note. They're going to Michigan. The two of them are going to be $17.98 and I've got $15 on them. But I don't think they're going to cost me anywhere near that to ship. So let's do this. I'm Because tablets are fairly breakable, I am going to ship this in another regional rate A box. Those fit in there very, very nicely. They're not moving around. So I'm going to ship those regional rate A. Let's see what that cost. Regional rate A. And that drops the price to $11.12. And you'll see that I charged $18 and it cost $11.21. So I am probably, when it gets that far apart, I'm probably going to refund them six bucks. So let me print this label and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, let me go to the order. All right, so when I go to the order, There should be, okay, here it is right here, send refund. And so I'm going to click this right here. And the reason for it is a shipping discount. That's one of the options that they've already entered in there. Um, and then on, it's an order level refund and I'm going to refund $6. Okay. Shipping doesn't have to be intimidating. I did get the question that says, what, how do you manage all the boxes? So I keep some standard sizes of boxes that I've purchased, and I keep some standard sizes from the USPS priority mailboxes. I keep some poly mailers, and I keep some bubble mailers. I keep a little bit of bubble wrap. I do have some packing peanuts if I get something that's very fragile. I have tape. <laughs> I use a lot of tape. When I'm not talking to you, and I'm just blowing through this and I'm not worried about having this camera set up to where it looks pretty and try to have lights and all that. I, I can do the 12 packages normally in 30 minutes at the most, maybe 20. It just depends upon what it is. If you find the videos that I'm doing helpful, I would, I would truly love it if you would subscribe to the channel and give me the thumbs up, comment below and let me know what works for you and what you need and we will try and incorporate that into an upcoming video. I'm truly blessed to get to do this. I've had so much support. I, 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 I'm not even sure how to express how grateful I am for all of you that took the time to watch. That's it for me on this one. I appreciate you being here and I will see you on the next one. Bye.